What is up YouTube friends? Uh, so today's video we are going to start looking for me a new gun. I need a new gun. As you can tell if you have watched any of the previous videos, on all the hunts <clears throat> in the past, my gun jams every time or it misfires every time. Now, I'm not talking any junk or any smack on any gun company in this video, so I just want to clear the air right now. But like all of us shotgun shooting hunters have questioned in the past is, uh, you know, does price really matter with quality related? And, and now hunting for, you know, 12, however many plus years, I've came to, uh, to learn that yes, it does. It does matter in the long run. And, and I'm not saying the most expensive is the best by no means, but I'm saying what's the best bang for your buck and this is in my opinion, and it's in the opinion of the guys that I hunt with and my buddies and, and what we found that works. So to add to all this, I'm going to go ahead and be trading in one of my rifles. It's a, a Savage Axis 243. Uh, it's basically brand new. I've had it for two years. I bet you I've shot it, mm, well, no more than, than a uh, box worth. So no more than 20, 25 times and uh good gun i i you know i love the gun but uh i don't use it i bought i originally bought it to be able to sh shoot uh both coyote and deer just kind of an all-around small gun that you can uh spot and stock with real light those axis triggers are beautiful i love the gun but i just don't use it and right now with uh, all the opportunities you know like flare being in town all the time now and all the hunting that I do now and all the filming that I do when I go to edit all that stuff and scout and spend the money and and fuel all that stuff you know it, it comes to add up and add up and add up and add up and when you have a gun that jams like you can see over the last videos two three videos worth where it just starts jamming bad it gets worse and worse and worse these problems are not going to correct themselves we're going to hit up a local uh, a local gun shop called Shooters, and uh, we're going to see what we can find. Oh, and I am vlogging on the GoPro Hero 5. Uh, first time really doing it with it. Let me know what you think of the, uh, of the footage, of the sound quality. Drop a comment in the section below. Let me know. Uh, let's roll. Okay, so I'm going through the video and somehow I lost sound on a couple clips so what happened next was uh, I did find a gun at Shooters and uh, you know Shooters did me really well nice guys extremely knowledgeable uh, I have to wait to get my gun a day or so um, I'm not gonna say what it is yet I'm gonna have it here with me and then we'll go through it and I'll tell you why I got that one so uh, stick around the next video should have it in it Try to get it up about Sunday, so here we go back to it. Alright, so we're out scouting, came across the field that uh, last week was nothing but snows. This week is all dark geese. Take a look. Hopefully you can see them piling in there. I mean, the whole field's full. Here comes a group. That whole field is black from from about there to about there, out there. Let's see if we'll watch them land here. Okay, so I was on a 
narrow view when I was vlogging. Hopefully you can see my face. Hopefully. But, uh, you know, scouting. Got the, uh, don't mind the child videos back here. They're kind of loud. <laughs> but, uh, when you're scouting, it's one of them deals where over years you get used to scouting the same fields, the same areas, the same general, you know, maybe it's a four mile square area, square area. Geese usually every year will populate and feed and roost in the same areas. So get used to getting in a rhythm, find your dominant fields, always check them. And then, uh, you know, when you find them dominant fields, that's when you disperse and uh, start finding new fields around those fields. So uh, mix it up. Don't get in uh, bad rhythms where you're not finding geese. Find the geese, go, go forward from there, you know. If you guys have any questions about scouting, feel free to uh, ask those questions in the comment below. Comment below. No question is a dumb question. Uh, everybody has to learn somehow. Uh, so comment and I'll try to get back to all of them uh, as fast as I can. I'm, I'm usually pretty good with replying, so uh, do it. Uh, you know, people say on, on non-cloudy days, on blue uh, bluebird sky days, that waterfowl hunting is the worst. Well, I disagree. You know, right now it's, it's clear skies. 22 degrees so it's still pretty chilly and you like you've seen per, birds are uh, piling in I mean that field is what they call you know the X that that is a big feed field right now and uh, all it takes is scouting scout 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 on, on these clear sky days you don't need clouds to keep the birds down to keep the to keep the birds low and when they're flying you know, so you can decoy them in better. You're gonna need a big spread to, to, to attract all them birds, even if they are feeding there, you know? You're gonna need a big spread. Big spreads are part of this game. If you wanna get under big uh, big shows of birds, you have to have a big spread to, uh, to hunt something like that. But scout, scout, scout. As long as you're scouting, you're finding the birds, it, the weather don't matter. It does. I, I, uh, I, for one, kind of don't like cloudy days because they result in late morning flying patterns. And uh, when, it, when it's clear out, the birds seem to fly earlier in the day. So if you're hunting in the morning, you're not going to be sitting your ass out there until noon or something. You're going to get your hunt in, you're going to get it done. So uh, about this lighting situation, I don't know how it is, so bear with me. So we bought a gun. I gotta wait to uh, get it. They're gonna call me. Hopefully, I get a call tomorrow before the weekend so we can use it. When I get it, I'll kind of wrap up this in another video. Why I bought that gun and uh, why I bought that brand and why I believe why I spent my money on that brand in particular and uh, blah blah blah. Price, quality, the whole nine yards. Please comment in the section below if you have any if you have any uh, questions about scouting or guns or anything related to this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I ask you please subscribe. Thank you much, people. Peace.